so in the last bit of discussion we looked at linear regression from first principle we also looked at the lm package that will help you achieve the regression estimates and your model results in a very quick way right so we've done it with first principle why do we care about how it is done in software packages so the answer lies in the computation time your method will require to estimate a model right we did it with a very small data set where we had monthly data of prices and the volumes for an sku this sort of data you would typically think for a brand that is selling through traditional channels and that's that's the nature of data that is traditionally available for statisticians to work on but when you think of data scientist and when you think of domains such as e-commerce uh, healthcare where there are lots and lots of individual patient or individual consumer level data that's that's available through various apps and you could simply run into millions of records for your customers and then each record would have to be thought of how many variables that that you typically have with this data set right so we here we are in the domain of big data and that's that's where what is the question of computation what is it what are the ways in which i can estimate these models on large data sets in reasonable time that becomes a key question or key aspect to consider and that's where we have to resort to software packages than doing things by first principle right but are these two things equivalent and they are indeed equivalent you would study uh, as part of the course work but then why does the computation time so so really different so let's take an example here so we have studied regression beta estimation model estimation using direct computation which we said we can do using a simple formula x prime x is x inverse x prime y right so what is the computation aspect in this problem it essentially ties to size of the matrix x right so the problem that we discussed just now it had five variables it had max 36 data points 3 years of data monthly data that was available to me now think of several millions of customers about which you have data and the number of variables are not going to be just five you could think of features or variables which will run into hundreds if not thousands so what is the the way to solve a regression like problem in such kind of a setup so i have given a little motivation to uh, this this case in particular here so what you can see is i have increased the number of variables in my problem size the the, the number of variables independent variables i have increased from 5 to 200 and what you have is the computation time for x prime x inverse in the direct method we can easily see for five variables we are taking 120th of a second for 200 variables we are taking 200 seconds to really compute x prime x inverse and then there is a multiplication with x prime y right so this has been done for a system where i have 1 million observations and i have variables going from 5 to 200 right what is the way to solve a regression problem in reasonable time right on a single problem i cannot afford to spend 200 seconds right so you could say i must reduce the number of variables in my model right that is one way that you could come with variable reduction process first and then use only useful variables or important variables that your business thinks are you know really useful for your model right other ways i have to think about using the variables to the extent i can and look at estimating the same model using efficient methods efficient ways of estimating regression effects must be found out 
right so this is clearly a, a computational problem that we have at hand when the size of the data set increases in terms of number of variables as well as number of observations the number of customers in this case and i'm going to give you a comparison of direct method and the lm package that you will typically see with r right so direct method is where i have matrix x matrix y i compute the model is uh, coefficients or i estimate the model using x prime x inverse x prime y you can clearly see for 200 variable problem for 1 million observations it took close to 5 minutes to estimate my betas whereas i use the same lm method in r and the same problem has been done in less than 2 minutes right so why is there such a stark difference in computing time right now this ties to the way in which the statistical packages or python based packages typically estimate regression models as opposed to doing direct computation right so you have learned the concept of qr decomposition with matrices now let us re-examine uh, qr decomposition for our regression problem right so let's think of the regression problem i wrote beta is equal to x prime x inverse x prime y let us multiply x prime x on both sides so what you have is an equation x prime x beta is equal to x transpose y now let's carry out qr decomposition of matrix x so i can write matrix x as x is equal to q times r q into r where q is n cross p orthonormal matrix and r is basically p cross p upper triangular matrix so let's substitute x equal to qr in the above equation so we have qr whole transpose multiplied by qr beta is equal to qr the the whole product transpose multiplied by y and i can use the transpose rule and write the same equation as r transpose q transpose q r is equal to r transpose q transpose y we know from theory of matrices if a matrix is orthonormal matrix q transpose q is equal to an identity matrix so i can write the left hand side equation simply as r transpose r times beta is equal to r transpose q transpose y okay since we know q is an orthonormal matrix q transpose q is equal to i and when i use this simplification the equation becomes r transpose r beta since q is actually an orthonormal matrix q transpose q is equal to i and when i substitute this uh, i can write the whole regression system as r transpose r beta is equal to r transpose q transpose y then i do a pre multiplication with r transpose inverse to essentially get r into beta is equal to q transpose y i can write r beta is equal to z and therefore i can write the whole system of linear regression equations as z equal to q transpose y now z is actually a p cross 1 vector and r is actually an upper triangular matrix so therefore we can easily calculate beta by backward substitution in a very fast way so it's like you have system of equations that you have studied where uh, the the system of equations is such that you you can carry out backward substitution very easily and get these betas in a much more faster way compared to doing the same thing using matrix inversion of x prime x so 
what we typically notice a qr decomposition on the same 200 variable system of x variables took about 1.54 minutes compared to 3.35 minutes that were taken to invert the matrix same x matrix for x time x transpose x right so the commercial packages which are equipped to work for larger data sets typically use qr decomposition or singular value decomposition to solve a system of equations in beta and that is what we we want we when we write y equal to x beta we are writing a system of equation in betas and this is something when we estimate betas we want to solve for betas we would solve it effectively using qr decomposition or svd decomposition method right so the matrix decomposition methods that you have studied are in fact essential to effectively solving you know linear systems in real time data sets especially larger data sets with uh, many 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 independent variables you do need matrix decompositions to solve the problem in a reasonable time right so we need do need to study these methods matrix decomposition methods for effectively solving our data science problems